Last week I joined Bracky's Game Jam. Let's go. The theme of the jam was you're not alone. I couldn't come up with anything on the first day. But then on the second day, I came up with a handful of game concepts that fit the theme. And out of those, I picked a dual personality. With that concept, I kind of wanted the player to be weak Bruh. and you could explore and maybe be a little more nimble. And then when the personality shifted, you'd be more of a fighter. Bruh. You would have to balance the two personalities through some sort of meter oh. and it would make for some interesting gameplay. Ultimately though, I went with aliens because they can combine the player and give you special abilities. Plus it fits with the theme of you're not alone. I'm gonna pretty much spoil everything about the game here. So if you're interested in trying it out before you watch this, uh, there's a link in the description. Usually when I make games, I like to storyboard them out first. So here I've laid out the basic story and some key points that the player will encounter as they play. Essentially, you're gonna be a worker of some sort, just finishing a shift, and you're gonna be walking through the city and you'll see a meteorite. And so you're prompted to go check it out and there'll be tutorials explaining you how to jump and run maybe. Then when you find the meteorite, there'll be some sort of enemy there and they'll essentially kill you. This will prompt a cutscene where the alien kind of attaches to you and gives you special powers. And then from there, you just keep going through the game and you'll find find more aliens as you go and they'll give you other powers like double jumping, dashing, things like that. Once you've found all the aliens, you're going to bring them back to their ship and right before they leave there's going to be a big boss fight. So a few months ago I saw a YouTube video about a player controller that was free to use. To save some time, I went ahead and used that. Since the player movement's all done, I'm just going to make all the art for the tutorial level, as well as the grassy tile set for the rest of the game. I'm using collision detection to spawn the meteorite so that the player can see it, and to also change the parallax when you reach the forest. The enemy is just a basic drone because I didn't want to make a crazy enemy controller, so it pretty much just detects where the player is in a wide radius, then in a smaller radius it'll just shoot the player once it reaches them. I made a really simple attack animation. Then using Unity's particle system, I decided to make a really juicy animation for when the enemies would die. And here's what it looks like. I made a quick dialogue system that could change components depending on who was talking. Here's what I needed for the game to be playable. A pause menu, the dash, the double jump, laser gates that lock you in combat, and a new enemy type. After all that was done, I made the art for the aliens and their encounter spots. Then I was able to work on my favorite part, the boss fight. I knew I didn't have the time to make a boss that could move around, so I just decided to make the boss a really large enemy that had multiple turrets on it. After defeating one of the turrets, drones would spawn, and then upon defeating all four, you would beat the boss. Originally though, the four turrets on the boss were just three round burst turrets. I figured having all four turrets be exactly the same wasn't that interesting, so I made the top turret shoot in a three round burst with three shots each time. I made the left turret shoot ten shot burst with very high velocity, and then reload for five seconds. Then I made the rightmost turret just fire consistently, but with much bigger shots. And then the bottom turret shot in all 8 directions, with a very slow rate. This made the fight way more interesting, but also way harder. So every time you killed a turret, it would spawn a health pickup. Speaking of difficulty, even after the health pickups, it was still a really hard fight. You had to hit each turret 5 times, while dodging all those shots. So I added a different difficulty. Easy mode would lower the velocity of the bullets, and also the fire rate of the turrets. I even ended up adding story mode to the game, which just makes you invincible, so you can experience the story without having to struggle. I polished some stuff up a little, added music and sound, and I made the pause menu show the controls. And that's it! If you like this video and want to see more like it, consider subscribing. And don't forget to check the description for the links on the player controller, and for the link to this game. Thanks for watching!